Welcome back to this ink challenge day four. One, two, three, four. We're already four days in halfway. I am super excited. This is a collaboration with the Dormouse's desk. Be sure to check her links down in the description box below. Um, you'll find the link to her channel and check out and see which color she's going to play with today. Speaking of colors, let's go ahead and grab our little sample inky bowl here and see which color we're going to play with today. And, oh, look at that. It looks like there's two. So let's unwrap these and see what we get. All right, it looks like we've got a Pilot 100th Anniversary Fuku Rokuju, gosh, I hope I said that right, and then Laban Poseidon Green. So kind of bluish greens today. Let's get swatching. We're going to start off first with the Laban uh, Poseidon Green. I hope I'm saying that right. Sometimes I feel like I just totally butcher names, but you know what? I'm doing the best I can. So that's what we're going to go with. Um, this is a beautiful kind of like a tealish green. Uh, reminds me like totally like you would think Poseidon and oceany colors. Um, yeah, so I'm excited to see how this one uh, swatches out and how it dries. It's a really beautiful shade and I have a couple friends who I think would totally love this color like oodles and tons. All right, so let's go ahead and set that off to the side. We will bring in our Nemesin pad and let's go ahead and get this on there as well. Kind of interesting how it's going on there. It's like pooling in the middle. Um, yeah, I'm liking the colors that we have so far. Even though it's another bluish color, it's totally different from the cobalt. Um, here it is on the Rhodia. Again, it's sort of like pooling in a very strange place. I always love seeing how the inks go onto the paper um, and then how they dry. So that's kind of why I do this in the beginning. I know I've had a couple of people say, I don't really care about the swatches. I just want to watch the artwork. But there are those out there of us who totally geek out over... Um, the swatches. So let's go ahead and jump into this Pilot 100th Anniversary. Um, fo oh, again, I'll probably butcher the name, so I don't, do I, should I even attempt to try and say it? <laughs> Fukuro Kuju. There we go. Okay, that is my attempt. Loving this green. It's like a bluish green, um, more towards the green side than the last ink that we had, and I can't wait to see how it dries. It's interesting that these two got stuck together because they're so close in color. I have absolutely no idea how I'm going to paint with these today, but let's just finish up the swatching. So let's break out our Nemesin pad again, and we'll go ahead and lay that down. You can see when they're right next to each other, it's a lot more green, um, but in the on the swatch card, it looked kind of bluish green. Here it is on the Rhodia. We'll just paint out that swatch. Again, so weird how it goes onto that paper, just kind of pools in one area. Um, so really looking forward to see how they dry. And then lastly, I'll carefully not smudge the ink above it, but here it is on the Tomoa River paper. And this is 52 GSM, um, in case you haven't been watching the series up to this point. So let's grab some tea and check back in a few. And we're back. Here we go. We've got them both side by side. They are a beautiful combination of colors together. Not sure how we're going to paint with them again, but you can really see both of them have that green. Um, you can see some of the kind of greenish uh, shading in there and then uh, the blue in the pilot as well. So it'll be interesting to see what the chromatographies look like. But first, let's see how they dried on the papers. Here they are on the Nemesin pad. Um, a lot more shading on the green versus the blue. And then the backside, it did bleed through. But again, I put the swatches on pretty heavy. Here it is. There's a bit more shading in the Poseidon in this one. Um, and then a lot of shading in the uh, pilot and no bleed through, which is lovely. And then last, we have the Tamoa River. You can see how they both dried. Lots of uh, fun shading there, so that'll be good to paint with. And then this is interesting. On the back side, they, they flipped. It's like the color that bled through was the opposite color of the front. So it's like blue, uh, or it's like green on the Poseidon, and then blue on the Pilot, which is very interesting. Again, here is the uh, chromatography. So the only difference is just some green like yellowish green in that uh, pilot one. Other than that, it's like we're going to be painting with the same color. I'm kind of, I don't know about this universe. I don't know about this. So let's just jump right into it and get inky. 
I'm gonna go ahead and put a border around the outside of my paper. I'm gonna grab my paintbrush, some water, got my inks, and like they say, on a wing and a prayer, let's jump into the painting. I'll throw on some music and check back with you at the end. So please enjoy the video. was interesting to say the least. Um, I, yeah, I don't know. It's kind of like, I wasn't sure which way was up. And then I felt like it was sort of like perspective. Like it could be this way up. Here's the sky. Here's the ground. Um, you have trees and then the clouds in the top. Maybe it's sideways or maybe you totally flip it upside down and you have, you know, this totally different scene. Um, I think the inks played really well together. I liked that. It just was one of those indecision days where I, it just felt like I couldn't make the right decision. And then I was like, you know what? Maybe I don't have to make a decision and maybe that's the point of today's painting. So I just added some simple pen borders and a quote about perspective. What you see depends not only on what you look at, but also where you look from. And I just thought that that was perfect. Sometimes the universe speaks and I listen. I don't have to choose a side. I can stay happily in the middle, bring both of those halves of our hearts together, um, see each other's perspectives and, you know, have grace and compassion for one another, no matter what. So there we go. That's the end. Thank you guys for hanging out with me today. And until tomorrow, happy creating.